Hey everybody, it's springtime and that means tomatoes in the garden. So let's do a game show about tomatoes. That sounds tasty. Thanks for watching Fun in the Sun Coast, telling your friends, sharing us, liking us. We really appreciate it. My name is Matt. I'm Jen. And we're still here at the Valerie Theater. It's springtime, and I know something that I've done in the spring is I tried to, I'm trying to grow tomatoes and be successful at it. And I know you're growing tomatoes, right? And I'm being successful. And what, what kind are you growing? I'm growing the little cherry tomatoes. And that's what I'm growing, but I got a couple of the heirloom yellow ones. Yes. And here's some pictures of all of our tomatoes. Yeah. I went and did a lot of research on tomatoes after I had lunch at Rocco's Pizza and Cafe, and I sat down with Sal, the owner, mm -hmm. and he was explaining how he cooks the food. And if you've never been to Rocco's it's Pizza fabulous. and Cafe, it's really good, and it's because that guy Sal and his manager Rodney mm -hmm. are food snobs, and that's good for us mm -hmm. because they care about the ingredients and, and what goes quality. into it. Yeah, and they're bringing, they want to delight you. Mm -hmm. And we did the food show with Ron, it was on again last week, mm -hmm. and it's, we have places where they really want to delight you with great food, and Rocco's Pizzeria and Cafe is one of those places, you should check them out. And I got the idea about tomatoes, and I did a bunch of research. So I figured I would make a game show out of it to mm -hmm. make it more interesting. Now, I know nothing. I know no questions. I don't know any of the answers, so. You may know a little bit about some All of right, that stuff. Maybe. Like, we'll for see. instance, you already know that tomatoes are not a vegetable, right? That's correct. They're they a, are fruit. They're a fruit, and we're going to learn more about it. But here we go. Here's the game show about tomatoes. OK, Jen, here we go. Right. Number one. Read it from the paper. All right. Tomatoes are also known as A. Pomodoro, B. Wolf peach, hmm. or C. Tomato. Hmm. I would have guessed Pomodoro, but. Eh, wrong? You would have guessed Pomodoro? Yes. You're partially right. All three of them are correct. Pomodoro. <laughs> Pomodoro means golden apples, and that's what they called them when they came to the New World. Number two, wolf peach is what they named them. Their uh, Latin name means wolf peach, and you know, people thought they were poisonous when they, when Europeans first got them. They didn't realize you could eat them. And then tomato is actually the original name given to them by the people that originally started cultivating them. Well, so they're, all three of those are correct. Neat. We can call them tomatoes. Tomatoes. Here we go. Number two, hmm. tomatoes come from Italy, Spain, Peru, or China? I'm gonna go with the least obvious and say Spain. Co incorrect, they come from Peru. Do you know that? Hernan Cortez, the conquistador, discovered tomatoes in Montezuma's garden and <laughs> sent the seeds back. And for hundreds of years, we think of Italian food, that's why I'm sitting in Rocco's, yeah, I'm sitting in really. Rocco's, everything has tomatoes. Tomatoes were not used in food in Italy until the 1700s. They thought that they were poisonous. Wow. So they weren't, yeah, it's, it's, if you look at real old Italian food, originally I was gonna do weird Italian foods <laughs> and gross her out again, but there are no tomatoes in anything because really? they didn't exist. And when they finally made it to the new world, they called them the wolf peach because they thought they were poisonous. No one would eat them. Oh, okay. So there you go. Peru, they come from South America. Okay. Number three, which country now we're in modern times. Which okay. country grows the most tomatoes? Is it Italy? Is it China? Or is it the good old USA? I've seen your pictures of your tomatoes, so I'm gonna have to go with the USA. Okay. Have you ever seen a tomato inside of a Chinese restaurant? Never. China! How can what? China do it? Who? I've never seen a. Yeah, they grow the most tomatoes. I'm in sure. In greenhouses. I don't know where they grow them, but they ah. grow the most. Yeah. Right after <laughs> them is the USA. And wow. actually, it's the most commonly grown vegetable in the United States is tomatoes. I, I and I'm, one, I'm now one of them. Yep, I believe it. Number four. Okay. Why do we consider tomatoes to be a vegetable? You know that they're fruit, right? They're yes, because they, they have seeds. Correct. Yep. Why? Number one, because it is a vegetable. Number two, we don't know any better. Mm -hmm. Or number three, you know this one over the back, taxes because they're good for you. No, it's because of taxes. We, <laughs> the USDA classified them as a vegetable for taxation. So they're, cla they're taxed as a vegetable, and that's, that's why- That's the only reason yep, they're classified. That's why we've, we all think of them as vegetables instead of fruit. But to be honest with you, fruits are typically sweet. 
I taste a tomato, I would never assume that it's a fruit. The high acid content of tomatoes makes them taste that way, and that's why a lot of times, and I'm gonna tell you a quick little tip, uh, tomatoes are packed with full of stuff that's good for us. So people that eat a lot of tomatoes will auto help Hair ward can. off mm -hmm. UV radiation, all kinds of cancers get worn off. Mm -hmm. But the concentration, you know, lycopene, yes. the concentrations of all this stuff increase as we cook tomatoes. So ketchup and tomato sauce and all these things where they've been vinegar. processed and cooked, they're better for you. Mm -hmm. And when you cook them, you can reduce the acid content. Gotcha, but they still never taste really sweet. Okay, well, if you gotta pick them as ripe as you can, the acid content goes. My grandmother, uh, when I was a kid, would put sugar, would slice tomatoes and put a little really? sugar on top of it. And I've always- Did you thought, fall for it? Yeah, I put sugar on anything, but <laughs> as a kid. But anyways, that's why it's the acid content and that's why they're the most canned food over the whole world are tomatoes because the acid inside of them helps preserve it. That's gotcha. why number okay. One. Okay, number five, the last question. What U.S. state grows the most tomatoes? Is it A, California? Mm -hmm. Is it B, Alabama? Mm -hmm. Or C, sweet Florida? Since I've done horribly so far, I'm going with Florida. You're correct. Yay! Of course, it's Florida. We, we think of orange as an orange state. We are a tomato state. Great we grow, climate. That's right. And as we know, they're going to burn out pretty soon. So you got to mm -hmm. get your tomatoes into the uh, shade or inside the house. Whatever Morning you're sun do. works best. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching our show about tomatoes. We and know if our tomatoes. You want to eat something delicious with tomatoes in it? Go and visit my friends at Rocco's Pizzeria and Cafe on Highway 44 and Crystal River. They're great guys. Say hi to Rodney. Say hi to Sal. Yeah. Put your cell phone away. Enjoy the uh, live Ambiance. music on the weekends, and put you know have a glass of wine. I know you have a glass of wine. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching our show, Jen. Thanks for playing the game. Thanks, Matt. We'll, and we'll see you next week on Fun and the, the Sun Coast. Coast. Bye.